Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 7 Days to Die. I'm the Radio Man 03, and it is awesome to have you along. We need scrap, and this is the perfect thing for scrap right here. Yeah, we're going to lose a little bit off the top, but that's okay. Uh, I've got, I'm working on the, the corner of the build right now. Still coming down. Look at all that metal. Nice. Uh, so, yeah, we're getting the two, last two corners finished up. I've almost got one done, one to go. You can see we just started day 26. It's early. It's early in the day. Uh, we had a zombie spawn inside the walls again. A zippy was in there. I could hear him while I was working. I was like, what the heck is that? Where is he? Because I thought he was outside, but nope. He was roaming around inside the walls of the base. So I've definitely got to get... Uh, maybe we should just dig up a piece of the ground all the way across there and then put... Um, just some wood frames down for now until we figure out exactly what we're going to build inside there just to keep the mobs from uh, spawning inside there. These, these guys are in there all the time now and it's beginning to be kind of a problem. Kind of keep my head on the swivel too. I've noticed we've got, uh, I've got a lot more odd packs of zombies coming through so uh, without having died, there's Lucy, she's right over there. I can see her roaming around. Without having died, um, I think things start getting harder and harder. Your game stage does. And I think I, I'm gonna, they're going to start throwing some more stuff at me, so kind of be careful of that. But we need a bunch of these wood spikes, these, these metal spikes and scrap to, of course, upgrade them. I thought this water tower, since it's not producing water for us anymore, might be a great place to do that. Uh, yeah. That, oh, look at this. It's, it's full again. Nothing in it, though. So, I'm uh, working on this corner right here. You guys can see right here, I've got to just about finish this whole side right here, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we can make another 58. That's beautiful. All right, that's exactly what we need. More than that, actually. We're going to need more than that, but uh, we've got... Uh, we're going to be able... Oh, jeez. Man! I thought for sure it'd still be set at the same thing, but I guess we've been gone for I've been gone for a little bit. Uh, our copy rotation. Uh, somebody asked again, what's the difference between the spikes straight up and the spikes down like this? Uh, nothing. They do the same thing. I just aesthetically they look nicer this way for me, so that's why I do it this way. Yeah, I'm not gonna have any iron for that. So yeah, we're gonna have to do that. We're gonna have to get some more scrap. Um, this needs to actually be filled in a little bit. Uh, if if I just went down one I dug a little too deep I dug too deep here and uh, that is why we've got this little bit of a problem right here this should be up at this level right here and then dirt up against that so that's why I had a bit of a problem here so yeah I'm gonna have to uh, do this and then get the dirt put back here so that the, uh, the, the whole place looks right you know it's already off a little kilter here and there but uh, you know overall it's it's okay it works pretty good I think the base we're doing all right with it but this does need to come up and then I need to take and put uh, dirt uh, let's see if I, I think I've got some on me actually uh, da, 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 da. yeah I sure do right here these guys right here I'm gonna have to come back with this and fill this in so that the zombies can walk up here and get up on top of this and we'll do like this right here. I think this might be the wrong ground though. I think this is the forest ground is what I've got in my hand here right now, which is no big deal. But yeah, we're gonna bring this up and then they'll just walk in and I can get these out of here and put an extra block in because these guys need to come out. I messed this up. They're not supposed to be here. The auger would probably work a lot better and I'll grab it and use it for this. Right now I'm still using the shovel to dig things out. This other corner is just about completely dug out. So I thought what I'd do is I'll get these out of here uh, reframe this front entryway uh, to this side of the trap and then it should be good to go and uh, then we just have to get the blade traps in. I've got 30 blade traps made so far. 30. So we're looking pretty good in that regard as well. So that's going to come out of there like that. This is going to go in here like so and then we'll do this and this and you can see now that it's, it's a straight walk off and that they should be able to walk up this right here. They should be able to walk up that with no problem. The ground is just so uneven over on this side. I kind of wish I'd never picked a POI to build on and picked just a random spot out in the forest near town, but that's okay. You know, we're, we're, we're learning these things, and that's that's the fun part of any game for me is just getting some of the learning parts down, and I think that's a, a lot of fun. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing just fine. We're doing just fine. So what I'm going to do first is the priority is to get this other side, this corner right over here, taken care of. You can see it's just about ready. Uh, we've got some problems with the street. 
The street is going to be an issue. I've got to get all that dug out, but that's not going to be too bad of a deal. And like so. So yeah, now I gotta line up this to this here. Like this. And then if I take these guys right here and come across, I should be able to make our box that we've been making in order to line up with that. But I've gotta, yeah, I gotta dig all this stuff out right here. This is kind of a pain in the butt right here. It's a little deep, uh, but it's in the long run, it's gonna be good. Yeah, see that's, that's the concrete now, or the street, the asphalt. So that's gonna be a much more difficult thing to dig. So I can get up to about this point right here, and I think it's going to be auger time uh, for this right here, just to make it go a little faster. I've got repair kits made so that we're ready to rock and roll with repair kits for the auger. But yeah, it's definitely going to be an auger job out here, so I'm going to have to grab that. It's just inside the wall there. Uh, beautiful, look at that. The shovel does work really, really well. I mean, it just, it, it, it does really well. Uh, so probably bring it out to here, right? Yeah, like so. And then you can see it takes, it takes I think, it's five or six hits on this. Maybe it's just three. It is just three. It's not too bad with the pick, actually. Level 500 plus pick works really, really well in here. It just takes it out like a hot knife through butter. It's a one-hit wonder underground, but up here, yeah, just a, just a little more work, but not too bad. So maybe I won't use the auger. Kind of saving the auger for when we go out to get boulders. I really want to get those boulders. Uh, we're going to have to do some of that too before Horde Knight hits just to get uh, some more iron going and stuff like that. I think that's going to be kind of uh, a helpful thing for us. I may take the street out all the way across here and just not have it here. Let's see how far we've got here. I think we're almost to where we need to be. You can see it drops off considerably right here. This is not this is not a good scenario for us here. Uh, to have zombies bumping up against these flat walls like this, they just they tend to dig. That's what they do. They just start digging because they can't get through. So let's see what we've got to do here to get this lined up here. We should be pretty good to go. Looks like we got just a little more asphalt here, and then yeah, we're gonna have to take out a bunch of this. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're going to have to do, yeah, quite a bit of this, actually, unfortunately. But, in the long run, it's going to help us out tremendously. Let's go like this. Let's get this dug out here. Let's finish our box. Uh, in terms of going out today, we are going to go out and do something today. I'm not quite sure what yet. Um, I haven't gone around to count how many of these traps we need, but we still need engines. We still need... Uh, God, a dozen or more engines because this place is just so big. So we're going to have to do that. We've got this taken care of now. Look at this here. Boom, boom. Yeah, we're going to have to pull this wall away a little bit from here. Like so. Bingo. Just like that. Yeah, this side's all ready to rock and roll. And then now that side will be all ready to rock and roll too. So we're looking pretty good, I'd say. I think we're looking pretty good. Uh, your skill in athletics is now a 68. We've really leveled up a lot doing this, this build. I gotta say, some of you have asked me too, how did you level up so fast? It's really all about the digging. I may have talked about that in the last episode, I'm not sure. But one of you said to me way back at the beginning when I first started playing is get underground and start digging. So that's what I've been doing. Every night I dig a little bit. Uh, this last night I cooked up nine meat stews, a bunch of more water. Um, I even got us some uh, yucca juice going too because we're going to wind up going off into the desert at some point in time too. These guys, I could just get to fall. I didn't realize I could do that, but I'm going to get these guys to fall here. If you dig underneath here, it's pretty nice. It's better than taking the axe and chopping them all into pieces like that. Uh, but we've got to get this first layer down first, and then I can go down a second layer. And then we'll be all set to put the spikes in, and this whole piece will be done. The whole initial uh, concept of the base, the razor, is taken care of. And then we can focus on getting the traps put together and the generator banks with the engine in them, with the fuel. So that's going to be our next step, is to get all of this stuff kind of put together and ready to go. That should drop. Beautiful, look at that. Now it makes it so much easier to clean up instead of having to chop all those up individually. we probably lose a little bit of resource, but that's okay. Uh, they're kind of a pain in the butt to hit. It's like five or six swings per, so this is nice. There we go, look at this. Yeah, beautiful. We're almost there. We are almost there. So I'm going to take a break. 
Uh, I'm going to get this taken care of and get this done. You've seen this before a couple of times, so I'll get her done, and uh, we'll move on to whatever we're going to do next. Uh, scrap metal and engines and mechanical parts and electrical components are definitely uh, in our future, so I'll be right back. Oh, look at this. we got some folks coming in to try out the trap. That's nice. Put a bullet on each of them. Just roaming horde wandering through. Oh, there we go. Look at this. This is nice. I like this. Let's switch to our crossbow. Nice. That's working out just beautifully. I can actually get up through that ramp right there. That's pretty nice. Let me turn my headlamp on so you can see a little bit better. Because we've got, of course, a storm coming through here now. we got to shoot them through Grandma's big butt. Nice. Look at that. Uh, looks like Big Mama's still alive. Yeah, she is still alive. She's got her head in there. Let's see if we can just get right in the corner there. Get the gun. More fun. I think that's got him. Yeah, we're losing bodies. You can hear them splattering and stuff like that. Definitely losing some. That's all right. No big deal. My main goal right now is to just survive Horde Nights. And of course it's raining. And then we can patch this up a little bit. Oh, I don't have any concrete on me. Darn it. That's okay. And we can't really harvest the, the bones either. Well, I could. I could easily put, you know, some blocks in here and go in there and harvest them. But that's okay. We don't need to do that right now. We're good to go. Nice. Uh, we need more metal uh, for spikes. I've got some spikes on me. Uh, what did I do with them? There they are. Right there. Okay, so let's go tab. Let's shift click those guys right into our inventory. Let's get these guys put in down here. So there's our horde, wandering horde for the day, which is beautiful. That takes care of that. This is not going to be enough to get this taken care of, unfortunately. Uh, copy rotation. If we get just this first layer of spikes on here, I'd be pretty happy about that. We'll get these upgraded, uh, hopefully, before Horde Night hits. Come on, get in there. Beautiful. All right, good deal. Boy, we just got that corner finished, too. We just got that corner finished up. So I need... Uh, I've switched to the grassy ground. I forgot that that was the forest ground, and that's just not the right kind of ground we want down here. It's not looking the, the same as it should. So I've switched the grassy so it's nice green grass out here. That should be helpful. There we go, like that. And we're going to put that right there. That way they can climb through there, and we'll get this nice little edge all along here for now. i got a couple hundred of these being made. I'm going to need more than that, but that's okay. We're good to go. Hmm. That's starting to raise up a little bit. I think you guys said to take the hoe to it, and it should bring it down. Because, yeah, that's getting much higher than what I thought it was going to do. We'll try that out. The hoe, you said, would make this sink back down. I could take chunks of the, the ground off, so we'll try that out. Now I know I don't have to worry about those ramps, so I can leave those ramps in, no big deal. If I don't have time for it, we'll push that off to the very end. Like so. I just want it easy for them to get through here. I don't want them to I don't want them to dig. That's our main goal here, is just keep them from digging. We're not gonna have enough of this though. Awesome. I'm hoping the rain stops soon, so we can go out. So, there we go. Awesome. 
I'm glad I was not standing out here when they showed up. That would have been a hassle. There we are. Beautiful. We almost got this taken care of. Do I have enough? I think I've got enough to just get this taken care of. Like so. Oh, right there. One there. And look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. That's much better. Now, they're going to drop off of here, and they're going to have some troubles here. But uh, if I dig this back one or two and slope it a little bit, it should be okay. It should be okay for them. Let's see about getting this taken care of. We need... Is it that big a deal? I mean, it doesn't seem like it's that big a deal. It's, it's not even, but what if I take these guys right here? What if I take these guys... There we go. That's knocking it down a little bit. That's doing it. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, let's do this right here. You can see it's knocking that ground down. Do one more row here. That's beautiful. That's that's ex doing exactly what I was hoping it would do. This is what I was trying to do the other day, and it just wasn't working out for me. There we go. Awesome. Perfect. We'll do a few more of these over here since we've got them. Flatten the ground out nice. Uh, right here. This is where we got some problem here. Okay, so we got to take some of these back. Take this first row back. Uh, harvested the crops overnight. Got them replanted. Just the corn and the potatoes because we've got a pretty good supply of goldenrod right now. So we're doing good there. And, and the coffee, I've not really been using it either. So uh, I'm not too worried about having coffee. And why won't you just go into my inventory? There we go, and let's get these guys going again. Oh, nice. That's beautiful. Nice, flat, smooth ground. Awesome. This will be all nice and green. It's going to look nice from a distance as we approach the house. Awesome. So if you never do that, that's what you do. You can see the ground just smashes down underneath these. Like so. There we go. Nice. Scoop them up real quick. As fast as you can click E. Too bad you can't just hold E down, huh? And just keep picking them up. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay, so let's go like that. That's really having no effect on that at all. We're good. We're good to go there. All right, that's awesome. Okay, so now we need we need some more scrap. Oh, man, the weather is just so awful. We need a lot more scrap. Let's go down to... Um, Let's go back to where we were last episode at the Clanker Oil. We'll finish knocking down that um, that catwalk and stuff. And hopefully we'll get enough metal off of that. Yeah, this is a nasty day, guys. Sorry about that. I don't know what else what I could do about it. It's just, you, you know, it's, uh, it's weather. And this area gets weather big time. Oh, also, you guys reminded me that the fence is something we can definitely tear down as well. We could take this out here all the way down the bottom row. And it'll come down and we could use that for iron. I realize that I'm going to leave that fence up just in case anything comes in here. We're at least uh, a little protected in here. That's that's kind of why I left that there. Okay, so we got that going right there. We're going to take this out and that out. And we're going to be working on getting this thing knocked down completely today. Yeah. And then we're going to work on getting some more electrical components. We need those really bad. So if we get this knocked out, we should be good to go. This should be enough to get us the rest of our spikes and hopefully the scrap we need. And then any other scrap I need after this, I'm just going to go ahead and make it gorgeous. I didn't want to do that anymore, but it's really not that big a deal. I've got so much iron and so much more to mine out of our area that it's really not causing me any problems. Let's do that right there. And let's go ahead and take this off and put this on. And we're going to start wrenching... Make sure there's nobody back here. We're going to start wrenching this stuff out. It won't let me do it. Huh, that was weird. Okay. 
Okay, what's holding her up? Okay, this is a little weird. <laughs> we got something going against gravity here. Maybe it's these guys down here holding them up. 40 each. Let's try this here. No, that's not doing it. I got something attached down here that's keeping it from falling. Weird. What's holding this up? Hello? Why are you still standing? There it goes, there it goes. Oh, it's coming down. There it goes. Wow, okay. <laughs> Crazy. All right, I'm going to clean this all up, and then we should have the metal we need to get our spikes hopefully upgraded and any more that we need to build. Uh, we should have the scrap we need. It's 40 apiece coming in like this. It's going to be easy peasy, so I'll be right back. And we are back. I am currently trying to get the rest of these taken care of. I don't think we have enough uh, material to do them all. But the other side is done, the other corner. And we still have the other side, other corners, two corners to finish up, I believe. I don't think we quite got those all the way done and upgraded, but uh, we're getting close. We're getting real close. Now, one of you mentioned a while back when we first went to that oil place that there was something more there that we missed the first time we were there. I'm going to go back there because it is really a great source for the scrap metal. It's just an awesome source for scrap metal. Maybe one more. It's kind of weird, these bodies. You can't quite get to them. You've got to be crouched in order to get here. If I stand up, I can't hit them. I can't do anything. you got to be crouched. Kind of weird. But that's okay. We got it. A little bit of, little, little bit of parts coming in our way. And that. Uh, oh. We are out. We are out of stuff. It's okay. Get some more. I fed myself. We've got the food. We ate. We drank. Uh, we dropped off a load of stuff. Uh, we got some more stuff on us. What do we got on us right now? We're, we're good. We can do this. Now let's actually scrap that. And we'll scrap that too. And that's good. We can put this stuff in the bike if we want to. Uh, oh, also took your advice and took Bad Mechanic and cranked Bad Mechanic all the way up. And you know what? We are getting more parts. I did some work down here on some of the piping that runs along the walls and stuff, and sure enough, man, um, I was getting two and four electronic components off of each of those things, so that really did help out quite a bit. And we are back. I know we're spending a lot of time doing this, guys, but it needs to be done. It's, 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 it's what we've got to do. Is there anything in this chest? Oh my gosh. Oh, let's grab those and those and that. Uh, that is... I didn't realize we had all this stuff down here. Oh, look, we got some barrels, shotgun, a hunting rifle barrel. We could boost our hunting rifle. I had no idea these things were down here still. We need to come back and get all these chests taken care of. So if we come down here, we're going to need our... We don't need those on us, but we do need the wrench. There we go. Oops. My mistake. Let's go to the wrench. If we come over here... If you watch, there's one electronic component. There's two. There's three. I'm getting three now instead of just two, usually. That's pretty nice. Because we need a bunch of these to finish up our traps. We're almost there. But you guys were telling me, one of you said, there was some stuff up on top of these bins. You can see I've taken a lot of this down. A lot of the piping that was in between here. I took that out last time I was in here. Uh, yeah, this stuff right here. I've been uh, just harvesting the crap out of this stuff. It's really nice. It's easy, easy material to grab hold of. But I found something here that I want to take you guys up. We're going to go out. Let me get the rest of these right here real quick. And we should have what we need to finish up our traps and stuff. I'm thinking 30 might be enough. It may not be. And I could probably do a lot of this on my own without bringing you guys through it. I want to go off and have some fun and scavenge and stuff like that, but we gotta get uh, we gotta get the base ready. We really gotta get the base ready. There's a ladder right here. 
I've not noticed it before, but let's give it a try and see where it goes. Oh, I guess I gotta go like that, and like that, and then maybe I can get up here? Oh, what have we got here? Oh my god. 8,000? I'll be back. <laughs> 8,000. I gotta know what's in here. We're in. Ooh. Look at this, you guys. Some goodies. Oh, baby. What kind of chest do we have here, anyways? Gun store box? Gun store box? Empty? Pistol, pistol, hunting pistol. Eh. Okay. <laughs> That's not that great, is it? That's not that great of stuff. That's something, though. That's all right. It's a little something. I'm more into this stuff here than anything else. This stuff is just good stuff right here. Yeah, that's, that's good stuff. Now, is there another one of these up here at all? No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like we found the, uh, the treasure trove right here. Yeah, there we go. We'll take the rest of this down from down below. But we'll get these guys taken off of here. We should be able to reach the rest of it from down below. Easy. Yeah, that's good. You know what? That oil tower right there would probably be pretty pretty good to get a hold of, huh? I wonder what this will do if I knock it down. I'm just kind of curious. I've never done it before. Could be kind of fun. And I can come back for the metal later. We should have enough to finish the... Uh, It's all quiet in here. We're just gonna put that there just so, you know, anybody decides to come out, we can see. Is this gonna be like this explosion of oil coming down on top of me? Oh, I didn't get that, that's a bummer. Oh God, it's coming down, it's coming down right now. Oh my God. Oh, ho, ho. awesome. <laughs> nice. Ah, oh, there we go. Do I lose some? Yeah, I guess the rule is, is that when you do stuff like that, the steel doesn't, the iron doesn't stack. It doesn't. It, it just kind of combines and falls down and you lose some. For the... In an attempt to make things go a little bit faster... It just, uh, it works out better this way. There's so much of this around that... Does it really matter? I don't know. I mean, everybody's got their own way of playing, right? As far as I'm concerned, there's really no right way or wrong way to play this game. It's kind of like Minecraft. You do what you want to do. As long as it makes you happy and you're having fun, then you can't be playing it the wrong way. And I love that about any game like this, especially survival games. It's all based off your imagination and what you feel like doing. I'll be back when I get this all picked up. It is the last one. Oh no! <laughs> you! Oh my god! I totally started recording because it's the last one I have to upgrade. And look at that, I'm denied. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, brutal. Brutal. The rest of it is all done, including the ones that are in the, uh, the side here, over there. These guys here, these guys are all done on the other side, so they're all taken care of. Look at this tall grass that came in. That looks pretty nice. I did grassy ground. How come it's so green like this? Dark green. I don't know. By the way, if you use your hammer on this stuff, you do level up your hammering skills with this thing. Just by doing this with a hammer. It's pretty crazy. Do I have more of that? I don't. I need to patch this little piece of dirt up right here. That needs to be fixed right there. But, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Look at this. We're ready. I mean, Horde Knight 
uh, we get, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to get some traps going on each side of the build to go. Uh, we're gonna actually gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna work on getting uh, a, a few generator banks going so that we can get those up on the rooftop. Uh, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna kind of put those in and where they're gonna go. And then we need relays to uh, run the power. But I figure I'll put, I'll start out with maybe five traps on each side. And that way if we got on Horde Night, we can at least fire up one side or the other and get the uh, the zombies to run into it and see how it works. You know what I mean? Uh, so maybe it won't be the whole thing uh, running at the same time, but we can get at least a, a little bit of it going and just see how the blade traps work inside these passageways uh, and, uh, you know, grind up some, some zombies, chop some legs off. One of you suggested putting a second one up higher, up at this level here, so that uh, the ones that get through... Some will get to get their head chopped off, and the other ones will get their legs chopped off in there. So yeah, you know, just 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 good clean fun, <laughs> right? Oh my god, it's brutal, just brutal. The things we think about doing to these poor zombies. You know, this is somebody's family member here. Someone's family member we're annihilating. Ever, nevertheless, you know, it's 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 got to be done. We have to survive. Oh my god, I was denied that last piece. I picked up another 6,000 plus uh, scrap iron, and the good news is, is I think we've got quite a few electronic components right now. If we look, I have uh, 16 mechanical, 194 electrical parts. Let's eat these guys. Eat. We'll just get these out of our inventory. Yeah, you're hot. You are hot, dude. You are so hot. Where? <laughs> Eat that, and one more berry. I cannot believe I was denied. Oh my god, it's just brutal. Just brutal. Ten, do I have any scrap in here? I have no scrap in here. That stuff needs to go downstairs. That needs to go downstairs. The grassy ground can stay out here. You can see I've got some of the supplies. Here's our auger. It's hanging out right here. It's being it's being a good little auger. It's ready to go for some some boulder action. I'm hoping that by uh, taking out a bunch of boulders, we can get some nitrate going uh, for horde nights, so we can further our uh, ammunition. I used some to make some fertilizer. I've got more fertilizer going. Let's go down here and I'll show you kind of what I did this past night, and then we'll work on getting a uh, generator bank going and stuff like that. Um, I told you about the meat stew. I made nine meat stew, which is really fantastic. The only reason we stopped making meat stew was because I ran out of potatoes, which we have more growing upstairs right now, so no big deal there. Uh, what do we have in our inventory that we need to drop off? Gun parts. We need to drop those off of there, like so. And uh, this is the building chest. We can drop those spikes off. I cannot believe I got... Totally, totally shafted by the game on that one. I used up the rest of our zombie flesh. I've got that. I've turned that stuff into the um, uh, fertilizer. The fertilizer, yes. We don't need the wood anymore because we've got all our spikes in. Uh, we got a little bit of fat right there. And uh, fiber. Don't seem to need the fiber very often. Uh, you know what else we got? We can drop this stuff off right in there. There we go. That would be enough to get that last one done, wouldn't it? Um, I think I'm going to need steel and iron. Um, and our mechanical parts, too. Let's see what we've got for mechanical parts. So 126, so we're doing pretty good there, I think. Yeah, and this is what we've got for our blade traps. I've got 30 made, so let's grab 20 of those. And then we need a generator bank, if I'm not mistaken. You can see I was looking looking at it already. Forge mechanical, oh, electronic components. Oh, I didn't notice that before. Electronic components. We got 51. We're doing all right there. So let's go back here to the generator bank. I think what we're going to need is, is at least four. Uh, one for each side. So that way when Horde Night happens and we know what side it's coming from, we can just run over, flick a switch, and it's going to go. So I'm going to make four of these guys. It's going to take two and a half minutes to do that. Okay, no problem there. Let's grab a few... Uh, where are the engines at? There they are. Here's our good engine. So I figure what we do, and you can see I've got them kind of organized this way. We've got a few good engines. And then we've got our less good engines. Less good engines. That's, that's, that's some quality English going on there, I can tell you right now. This is for our, uh, our nail gun, which we've not found yet. We're still working on that little aspect of the game. Uh, let's do that and that. And let's drop those guys off. And those guys off right there. We're doing pretty good. Awesome. We're going to get one of these set up and see. Oh, you know what I should really do? Uh, relays. What do we need to make the relays? 
There is a relay for the power. Electric timer relay, electric wire relay. Forged iron and electrical parts. Okay, so let's do that again. Electrical, electrical parts and forged iron. Did not know those took that, but that's okay. We only need, I think, two on each end and three on the front. So I think that would be a three across the front and the back, and then we can uh, run our wiring from there. So let's make three, six, seven, eight. Let's make ten of those. Let's get those guys going as well. That's only going to take a minute. That's nice. And there's our generator banks. Beautiful. We're going to get a few of them going today. Uh, I really enjoy this uh, part of the game. It's really fun. Uh, let's see. I have a wiring tool. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. I think what we could probably do with this is combine these together. And they should come out pretty good. There's the 211. And we've got another one upstairs in the box, I believe. So we're good to go there. Uh, let's go ahead and drop off these guys. Yeah, we don't need that anymore, and we can drop off this forged iron. Lovely. Sort ourselves out. Look at that. That's looking beautiful, huh? And I made us uh, steel crossbow bolts. Steel crossbow bolts. We still have, uh, just for your FYI, we still have 70 exploding crossbow bolts. So we're good there. I've not made any rounds for the Horde Knight. None at all, and this is all we have for feathers. So we need to go out and about. And I'm really glad to see that our defenses have come along to the point where they're almost done now. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to let this finish up, and I'll come back, and we're going to go back up on the roof and kind of organize our stuff and get a few things put in place and see how they work uh, for Horde Knights. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I'm thinking maybe we should get one side kind of wired up and see just how much we need. Power wise, do I have one over here? I don't. Okay, so that's all of those. I don't think I'm, I'm gonna keep them out of this area here because I'm just not ready to. Uh, well, let's get one right in here. That way, if they do come from this side, we're kind of set up for it. We'll do that right there. But this this all has to change. Remember, we're gonna change all of this stuff. So there, I used. Well, I didn't even use 10 there, so we, we're probably going to have a few extras, which is kind of nice. But we should be able to do the rest of this from up above here. Yeah, most definitely. So I'm going to want to take these guys out of here. Why can't I pick up more? That was weird. It wouldn't let me pick that one up. Um... Rebar frames, get the traps off of here. We're gonna put this guy right here. And, oops, jeez. Let's get the one back out of our inventory again. We'll put that one here, I'm, I'm trying to rush and that's never good when I try to rush. Like that. I'm gonna want these guys right along here. Because this is going to be our lip that keeps the, whatchamacallits from climbing up here, these, these, uh, uh, the spider zombies. Getting late. It's going to be nighttime here pretty quick. You know me in nighttime. I don't like to be out here at night. Not too much. I, you know, I'm finding that now that I've got the base this far along, I can kind of work at night, which is pretty sweet. Seven, there we go. If we get this row in, that would be really nice to have this all taken care of. And this is going to give us something solid to stand on at night. Unfortunately, um, I'm not going to be able to see right up against uh, the building. But this is where the, tra the traps are, the, the uh, blade traps. We should be good. Let's go ahead and do this anyways. We're going to do this. And then the next row out is actually going to be... Um, Iron bars. We're going to do some iron bar action out here too so that we can see through and shoot through it. And let's go ahead and change out this one right here. Awesome. Perfect. Just like that. All right. Awesome. All right. So then we've got our generators. We're going to put a generator. Let's see. We're, we need we need the refire frames again. Let's take the gun off the bar. It's against my better judgment, but we're going to do it anyways. And what we need is we need to do these guys on the outside here, like so. 
because I want this to be a three wide walk space for us. So let's do this right here. Just a few. Like so. And then we're going to put our generator back in this area here. Hopefully the cops won't be able to shoot at it. We'll do a little something to uh, protect it. All right, so now we've got that. So where's about the center of this thing right here? I'm going to say the center is probably going to be... Uh, yeah, I feel good about it right here. Let's do that, and we're going to drop our engines in here like so. That's going to give us 213 watts. There we go. Refuel it, and then we're going to want these guys right here. Let's turn our headlamp on so we've got that going for us. Um... You know, if we do one of these right here, we should be able to put another one right here. And that should take care of the power over on this side of the place. And then we should be able to do one. This is kind of a temporary wiring job here. Just a quick, a quick wire job. Uh, where's our last trap? Right here. We're going to do that one right there. And now we need our wiring tool like so and we should be able to come off of here I'm hoping this will stretch right click on that and we gotta watch our line it's gonna turn red we should be able to hopefully there we go like that Nah, it's gonna be too far it's too far so let's keep let's keep the wire oh nope it's too far so we're gonna need to put we're gonna need a few more of these than I thought I have to put one right here, let's say. Let's do this now. Let's go right click on there. Right click to here. Now each one of these uses a watt. So we're losing a watt of power each time. But as long as we're hooked up, I'm pretty happy. Okay, now can I reach the trap? I cannot reach the trap from here. I don't have the wire with me either. Okay, so let's get uh, a wrench off the bar. Let's get these guys right here. And let's go up. Let's grab that right there. There we go. And... Does it not recognize that as being... Oh, man, really? So I've got to come in this way with it, huh? Like that. Okay, so that one's powered now. Uh, this is going to be kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, 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 oh. Did not mean to do that. Okay, so we're good there. Looks to me like what I'm going to want to do is create some kind of a scaffold. Like so. Let's see. I, I, I got to be able to see. Can I reach that from here? I can. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so we do that, and then we come down, and we'll put that one on there, like so. Looks to me like I'm gonna have to do this kind of this little hop thing each time. Okay. What if I go... If I go up right from here... It should be a little bit better. Wiring tool. Got it. Okay, and we should be able to hook that up to there. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. You just got to learn the, the, the way to do it, you know. Oh, I got to go back up here. There we go. And... Will it give it to me? There we go, like so. Awesome. Maybe maybe the middle of these would be the better place to go, huh? Like this. I think I can come directly off of that. There we go. And again with that right there.
Come on. There we go. Beautiful. And down to here. There we go. Got it. We'll see if we got enough power with these guys. This is cool. This is so much... I love this electrical aspect of the game that they introduced recently. I think it's really cool. It's very exciting. Who doesn't love to play with this kind of stuff, huh? Okay, so I don't have power running over to this yet. So let's go ahead and take this. And we're going to run over here. And then click here. And we're going to jump over the top. And come right over to here. Okay, and I'm going to eventually want to work something out to where the wires are, are pretty well hidden here. So now we're going to come off of this one. And we'll come back down. Can I reach that from here? Yeah, we got it. Okay, beautiful. And there we go. That takes it, they, Each one of these takes 20 watts. That's what I'm seeing here, 20 watts. We only had 200 and some odds, so we're going to need more engines is what we're going to need for sure. Uh, okay, so we take that out of there. It's okay. We got, we've got we got a few more engines downstairs. This is going to be a good little test to see just how much we need in order to, uh, you know, power each side. And then when we go out, we'll make sure we get those th those things taken care of. Okay, so we've got that one there. Uh, okay, so let's go back up. And I can't see. And he's freezing his butt off. I took our jacket and uh, combined it with another jacket. I uh, can't see it. There we go. There it is. Click. Thank you. And let's grab that. That, 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 and that, and that. And come back down. There we go. And we're going to hook that up to you there. All right. Lovely. Got it. How many more of these do we have now? We have a trap here that needs to go in. I'm going to take some damage. There we go. I know, it hurts. I'm so sorry. I'm so very sorry. And we need one right there. All right, beautiful. We should be able to get this wrapped up here pretty quick. Don't forget these walls that we're standing on down here, down below. They're going to come up. I, I want them up. Uh, I'm not quite sure how we're going to design it yet, but they are going to come up a lot higher than they are down here right now. All right, so we've got those all taken care of. Now we're going to come over on this side. And we're going to hook onto this here. There we go. And we're going to drop down and hop over. And we should be able to get that. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. And then we need this right here. We're going to jump up. We're going to get this wire one more time. I love this. Oh, God. This is so cool. This is so much fun. There we go. Okay. We've got them all. All right, we lost a frame. No worries. Now, let's see if that's enough. That's not going to be enough to, to power all of those. There's just no way. So what do we got here? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 traps on this side. 11 blade traps on this side. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, let's see. We have enough juice to get them all, to get all these guys going. Okay, so we're, we're short here. We don't have enough to get this going over here. Well, that one's going. Did I miss, just, did I just not hook one up? He's hooked up. Why is that one not running? I think I need one more engine up here. Let's get one more engine. Looks like we need just a little bit more power there. No big deal. We can, we've got the engines for it. 
So that's good to know. We've we've almost got just enough, but but keep in mind if we want to do any dart traps or shotgun turrets or um, spotlights, which I would love to have some spotlights on the base. I think those would look really cool. We're going to need more power than that even, so we're going to have to definitely get some more engines for sure. Uh, let's go in here. Let's grab, uh, let's grab a couple more of these small ones. That should be just enough to get it up over the edge and, uh, and power us up pretty good, I think. I hope. <laughs> I hope and I pray. I can hear him. That's just music to my ears, baby. That's music to my ears. I can't wait till Horde Night. We're going to get these all hooked up all the way around the base. And then we'll be able to go around to each one and just flip it on and boom. Now we can put switches on those too, so we just hit a switch to turn it on. But really, it's not that necessary right now. Uh, we're kind of at the beginnings here where we're just going to try to get this, just to keep it going. Let's go ahead and uh, reactivate this. And let's grab an engine here. Oh, you gotta, I guess we got to turn it off first. Let's do that and that. Now we're up to 325 watts. Let's refuel it again. There we go. And turn it on. Now do we have enough juice to get them all going? Now they're all going. That's kind of funny how the one in the middle decided not to turn, but the rest of them are going just fine, huh? That is sweet. Oh my god, that is so awesome. So any zombies that come over on this side, we can get them to walk over here and hopefully get chopped up by that one. But we And we've got a blade trap that's going to be sticking out of this one here. We should probably have a couple in here too, just that they've got to walk through in order to get to the corner of the building. That might not be a bad idea right there. And this dried up already, so that's pretty sweet. And then we're going to do iron bar after this. This is going to be an iron bar. And probably two or three, and then we'll finish filling this in. And we'll be able to walk out over the top of this and shoot down at the zombies as they're crawling through the razor blades here. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So how many traps do we need over here? We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight. There's eight traps on the sides and 11 on both of the big sides. So eight on the ends and 11 on the big. So uh, I'm probably going to have to make a few more traps. But we've got the stuff we need to make them, so that's no big deal. We're good to go. We're really good to go. And I think uh, for temporary sake, what we could do to protect this from cops is just do something like this right here. Like that. And that should protect it a little bit just so they don't... I don't have any wood on me. There we go. It should protect it enough to where it's going to blow up the block and not the relay. And then we're going to definitely need something right through here. Something like this right here. Just to protect the, the generator so it doesn't get hit by any cop puke. That's so weird to say that too. Cop puke. It's just well, <laughs> so we'll do that, and then uh, we're good to go. And then we'll change out this wood frame for a concrete one. That way, when we're standing on here, we're a bit safer. But look at that, guys. Traps spinning. Let's go downstairs and take a look at it. Uh, I need a gun on my bar. I just feel better with a gun. I truly do. Get any runners coming in. Oh, uh, yeah, look at that. That's juicy. Yeah, it would probably be better off if they, if they were one more block back. That way the blade would be kind of spinning in the back there and get them when they get up against the wall. But this should keep them from... They're going to be crawling. They're going to be crawlers. And if we take that back block, block, block right there and turn that into steel, it should be pretty good and solid. Yeah, it should be pretty good and solid. All right, guys. I think that's going to wrap up today's episode. We're at uh, 20, almost 2,300 hours. Uh, our health is down a little bit because uh, I caused myself some damage when I knocked over some some of that metal. It was collapsing. It, uh, it fell on top of me. <laughs> I know. we got one more spike to upgrade, but uh, we've got our traps, guys. The traps are up and running. We now know how much power we need. We're going to need at least six more engines, I'd say. At least six more engines. Not as much power on the ends as I thought we'd need, but we're going to need to, uh, of course, bridge this gap as well. So there is that. Uh, you know what? You know what? I wonder if it's possible. What I'm thinking is, is what if we did some sort of a, a generator room in the middle here, ran the power up to a, a, a relay, and ran the power off to either side of this, 
then we'd have to flick just one switch, one generator. Now, I don't know if we can get enough power out of that one generator, but if we set it up to where, okay, we need, we need the energy on this end down here, we flip a switch and all the power gets directed that side. If we need it here, so same thing. We flick a switch and it all goes to that side, so on and so forth, etc., etc. Something like that. That might be a possibility in the future uh, to kind of play around with the wiring and see what we can come up with. That could be kind of cool. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like button for me. I'd appreciate it very much. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. I want you to have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. Oh, baby, look at the farm. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.